guys and welcome to another edition of Gifted Monkey TV, all things toy and toy related. I'm your host Jordan Preston and when we come back on this special edition of Gifted Monkey, we're going to take a look at these things as I share with you the completion of my 1966 Batman the Television Series Hall of Toy and Action Figures and all kind of stuff that I got. I'm done! I've gotten all that I want. Let's come back and take a look at it. Respect the monkey! And we are back. And keeping with the promise of the awesomeness, here it is, the completion of my 1966 Batman television series action figure and collectibles. Wow. I was and am still a big fan of the 1966 television show with its special guest stars, those vibrant colors, and that Batmobile. That Batmobile is still dear to my heart, one of the most special and best Batmobiles I think we still have today out of all the great ones that came afterward. So... It took us, unfortunately, about maybe 35, 40 years for 20th Century Fox to finally release the licensing of all that Batman stuff that they had the license to in the, in the television series. And that's why you see in the last five years or so, since about 2008, a lot of uh, Batman, Adam West, Burt Ward things from the 60s television show started showing up. And man, I went hog wild and I wanted it. It's with a saddened heart that I'm doing this though, because to me, in my mind, the crown jewel of my 1966 Batman television series collection would have been that Hot Toys premium 1 6 scale Batmobile. But I'm starting to hear rumors that Hot Toys is not going to make it. I think it was low in demand or something, and so they're not going to make it, because it should have been out already, and it's just not happening. So. I'm going to take it on faith that maybe they will come out, but right now it hasn't, so I'm calling the plug and I'm calling it. These are all the 1966 Batman things I'm having to make myself say i got a complete, nice collection. Now there's some more 1966 Batman stuff out there, a lot more probably, but at some point as a collector you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, you know what I'm saying? So I'm out, but I think i got a nice set of stuff that is unique and it's all about making your collection pop. So let's go over some of these things one by one. Oh, one more caveat. Some of these things I will not take out of the box. As a collector, they will stay packaged in the box, but we'll take a look at the box and what's inside, and then we'll move on. Some of these we'll take out and do a quick little mini review. So stick around. Let's start one by one going through the 66 stuff. Let's kick things off with a look at this classic Batman TV series, Batcave Set. This is a fantastic play set. Who knew that you'd ever get this in your lifetime? This is wonderful. Here we see so many uh, accessories that Mattel gave us. This is a Mattel action figure set. This is like a six-inch Batman based on the six-inch Batman uh, that Mattel brought out a year or two ago uh, with the uh, uh, Batmobile that goes with it. But now we have a Batcave recreation. It comes with about 15 accessories. And we see it comes with three different assorted batarangs. The bat sprays, the shark repellent, all type of bat sprays up there. That's great. The, the bust that Adam West, as Bruce Wayne, would turn up and press the button and the bat poles would up, uh, be exposed in the study. We have the bust. That's so wonderful. The bat phone. Can you believe it? If that wasn't enough, we get the bat zooka. <laughs> That's great. We get an alternate head sculpt of Adam West. Look at that head sculpt. That looks like Adam West, as best that you can get on a little uh, six-inch figure. That's a nice, Mattel did a really nice uh, head sculpt on that Adam West. And we have the Batman head. We have uh, the Bat walkie-talkie. Here we have a nice recreation of that Bat computer. It doesn't have any articulate knobs or buttons or lights or any LED readouts or anything. But it's a nice plastic recreation, stylized recreation of the Bat computer that they used on the television show. And here it says, Holy Catastrophe Batman. Batman, the classic TV series, to the Batcave Batman, adult collector. And the backdrop, they give you a little backdrop of a cartoon version of the Batcave. For a little backdrop. This is very nice. Look at that. That is just simply awesome. We have the Bat loudspeaker here, megaphone, in the corner. This is just fantastic. We turn the box to the side. We have the na 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 in the background. We have that uh, basic bright orange and yellow that we see on all the 66 Batman release stuff. We have a nice animated picture of Batman himself. On the back, 
We have to the Batcave Batman, Bat Signal. Batman, the classic TV series. These are the action figures that came in the line right here. You have Surf's Up Batman, Catwoman, the Penguin, the Riddler, the Joker, and Batman. I don't think we're going to get any more figures like Egghead or King Ted or anymore. I think they're basically done with that Batman line. But it's so great that Mattel came out with that. Here we have an action shot of animated Batman throwing his Batarang. And that is just too great. That is really nice. It comes with so many good stuff. No one knew Mattel was actually going to do this until after Comic-Con. So that was really great that Mattel decided to do that. Came out really quick. You can get this on, uh, you can get this, I think, on Maddie Collector. But you can also get it at your Toys R Us. I think Toys R Us is the exclusive dealership besides the small mom and pop uh, comic book shops. Toys R Us is the only major chain that will bring these out. I got this at Toys R Us. It'll run you about $34. Very nice, and it was the uh, last wave of the Batman stuff that we're probably going to see. So it's in the stores now, but they're at limited release. So run out and grab those. Very nice. Let's see what else we have. Ah! I've got these bendies. These are bendable, posable figures of Robin. Ages three and up. Isn't that crazy that I'm having it? Look at this. And this is by N.J. Croach. That's the uh, company that does this. In the back it has the Batmobile and a nice uh, silhouetted picture of Gotham and the Bat Signal. And it says right here, collect all of them. They have the, 19, the 1966 Bendables Batman, Robin, the Joker, Penguin, Catwoman. And they even have a Batmobile keychain, which I didn't get, and more. There's Robin. Robin comes with a cloth cape. As I said earlier, I, will, I won't be taking these out of the package. These will stay for collectible reasons in their package. Very nice. Cloth cape, nice bendable pose for Robin. And the paint apps on this guy are really good. Usually on these bendables, they just throw paint on them and it's really, uh, really kind of sloppy. I'm so impressed with the respect that a lot of these companies gave when they adapted doing uh, the 1966 TV show versions in their company. Very nice. Here we have Batgirl, a Batgirl bendy. Isn't that great? For the late, great Yvonne Craig, uh, her version of Batgirl in 1966 helped a lot of boys through puberty. <laughs> we have a bendable Batgirl. And on the back is the same thing. It says the same thing as the Robin figure. Picture of the Batmobile there. Great. Her cloth cape belt. Once again, paint apps are very great. Even her face likeness is pretty darn good. For a bendable figure. These figures are about six inches tall, almost the height of your basic Mattel action figure. Love it. Once again, these are by NJ Kreuz. They're bendable figures. And you get these basically in your mom and pop sh stores. These are very good. And here we have the man himself, the Adam West likeness of Batman from the TV series Bendy. Once again, with the cloth cape, with the little eyebrows drawn on. Very good rendition of an Adam West Batman, I must say. And on the back, same type of deal as we saw on the back row in the Robin. Very nice. Now, these will run you, if you get them in a mom and pop store, you won't find these in Target or Tours or Us or Walmart and stuff like that. You will find them. I'll get you in on a secret. These will run you in a mom and pop stores anywhere from $9 to $12. I got mine from Fry's, the electronics store. Fry's has these as you go out the store, when you stand on that long line in Fry's, the electronics store, they have little, a, lo a long row of things you can buy, last minute things, all little goofy little keychains and stuff. They had these for $3.99. So I was able to pick these up. Boy, what a, what a score that was. Because anywhere else these things start at $9 and go on up to about $12, $13. Very nice bendies. Good paint apps. I love it. What else do we have here? Oh, check this out. Christmas time, my Christmas gift was the Batman Complete Television Series. This is the first time ever they did it. This came out in Christmas of 2000, uh, right before 2015. They came, this came out. Once again, uh, 20th Century Fox, who held the rights for the television show only and all things made in that television show, related to that television show, held the rights up for about 35, 40 years. So that's why you never saw any DVDs, official DVDs of the Batman television series, or Green Hornet for that reason, because uh, 
20th Century Fox out of the licensing, or they would just make it so ridiculously expensive that no one would bother to even try to get the licensing for it. So we have all three series here. This is great. On the back, they had a bigger Blu-ray collectible set, which included a miniature Batmobile and, and all kind of picture sets and stuff, which I didn't get. This one has a picture set and a little pamphlet and book telling you behind-the-scenes stuff about the Batman television series and uh, unpublished photos from that television series are included in this. Very good. We see pictures of the villains right here. The complete television series. Now this will go opened up at one time. I just haven't opened it yet. Very nice. In fact, let's crack this open real quick. I can crack it open real quick while I got here. My director get angry with me. Look at that. I did it fast and furious. That's a whole nother story. Here we go. So here we see the DVD sets. And in the inlays we have Batgirl, late, great Yvonne Craig. Look how beautiful she was. We have the Batman DVD sets. We have a picture of Cesar Romero here as the Joker. On the back, we have Chief O'Hara and Commissioner Gordon in that great Surf's Up episode of the Batman when the Joker had the trunks on and Batman wore the trunks and they surfed in the, at the beach. That was a great episode. We have on this one, we have King Tut, Victor Buono, Vincent Price's Egghead, Otto Preminger as Mr. Freeze. And we have our nice set right there. Nice. Look at that. Each set has that little Batman engraved Etch, etching of the bat signal. It's very great. Then we have here Frank Gorshin as the Riddler on this box. We open it up. Oh, we have the great Neil Hamilton as Alfred. And here we go. Nice purple on this one. I like that nice fuchsia color. It's very nice. And once again, the etching of the bat signals. And there we go. Burgess Meredith as the penguin. Love it. And here's that book pamphlet I told you about, episode guide. It tells you the episodes, what happened, a little behind the scenes, reading citizens. Nice. Full color brochure. Very great. Very great. A little behind the scenes bonuses that they talk about. This is fantastic. I love it. Moving right along. Let's see what else I got. Oh, this is special. Look at this. This was made by, this is the Batmobile 1966 metal bottle opener. Very great. I'm going to open this puppy up. This was made by Diamond Select. Believe it or not, Diamond Select made this. Now, you can only get this in certain ma and pop stores or probably order it off of Diamond Select. We see it housed inside this box. This thing is a nice duplicate of the Batmobile. Very heavy. Very heavy. This is a weighty thing. But look at that. That is nice. That is sweet. It looks almost like pewter. It's a nice dull shiny at the same time. But they did a great job. They put the uh, exhaust on there. I don't know how they did that, but the exhaust are nicely put on there. Even the inlays of the, the wings of the Batmobile, the back, the exhaust of the back there. The wheels still have the bat emblem. The doors have the bat emblem. The front has the grid feel to it, and this is a heavy piece of metal. The tires are flat, but these tires, the flat round circles on these tires are also magnetized. A super strong magnet you can put on your fridge. And right here we see the bottle cap opener. It goes right there and you just click it open. It also makes a great paperweight for you guys that have an office, because it just sits there on nice all fours, does not roll or move, but it sits there and it is very heavy. It will weigh down a bunch of papers with no problem. Nothing's flying away underneath that. Inside is just a, a quick metal piece on both sides. No details of the cockpit. But on the outside it really is a fantastic recreation of the Batmobile. For what they had to do with metal, they did a great job on it. I love that. Look at that front grill. Awesome. Let's see what else we got. 
as I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm having a great time showing you this, uh, sharing this 60s stuff as I complete my Batman collection. This is wonderful. We have from Mattel again. Mattel, of course, had one of the exclusive licenses on a lot of this 1966 Batman stuff in the last four or five years. They really did a great job. From their multi-universe DC collection, we have the Batman 66 skin from the Batman Origins video game. Those of you who know about the video game, it's Batman Origins where he has his own unique costume that's particular to that video game. They give the players an option to change the skin or the costumes during the course of the video game. So you can change it to the Batman Beyond if you want. You can change it to uh, a lot of different versions of Batman, including the 1966 Batman skin, which is great. Now, this doesn't bear a resemblance to Adam West. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to, and it's a more muscular build, because it's supposed to be just an homage to that outfit, to that uniform, on the body of that muscular Batman that's in the video game. But it gives you all the great details that happen in the Batman 66 television show, including the little bat signal on the belt buckle, which was nicely done by Mattel. The nice fat bat buckle, that's great. The bat belt looks good. The bat emblem is nice. The eyebrow shadings and that light blue over the eyebrows, very nice. Now, the cape is a little funky. Batman really didn't have a cape like that in the 66 television show, all shredded and, and uh, majorly scalloped like that. But you know what? For the most part, it looks pretty darn good. This, too, I will not open up because it's for collector reasons. I'm going to keep mine in the box. But that's really good. And on the back, it talks about uh, the Batman Arkham Origins video game. It talks about having a special classic TV series skin. And it shows you what other action figures were variable in that particular wave. Various for Scarecrow, and I think Arkham, and, uh, and was Hush. So there we go. Very nice for Mattel. Very nicely done for Mattel. And then we have, also from Mattel, we have this. We have the six-inch Batman figures. Now, the Batman and Robin figures came out about two years earlier than this video show that we're showing today. But they were climbing on a bat rope in a two-pack, and the, the capes were stiff. The cape had some type of wiring that went through the back, and uh, Robin's cape had this big old white tag that hung on the back of it, which why they placed it there, I'm not sure. So it looked very good, but then very weird at the same time. So they recreated, uh, reissued the Batman. These are the same Batman and Robin figures, but now the cape is flexible, so you can take them out and put them in your Batmobile if you want. And the cape is a better design for this Robin. But what they included was this Batgirl figure. This is great. This is the first time we're getting a Batgirl figure, which I think is the last of the line of any type of figures we're getting in homage to this 1906 Batman television series for Mattel. But what a great ending to put... Uh, Batgirl, Yvonne Craig likeness, and the face likeness is beautiful. Very nice three pack. Look at that. The skin, the skin tone, the outfit color paint apps nice. The cape is a great length. The cape has a little bit of a, a wire to it because it's posed. The cape has a big flare out pose to it, which is great. For collector's purpose, this will stay in the box for me as well. But you can take these out and they look really nice. Now, uh, 2015 Comic Con this past summer did have a Toys R Us had an exclusive of Batgirl by herself in the package, and uh, that was nice too. But this was exactly the same Batgirl, and since I didn't get the Robin a few years ago, I thought it was a good idea for me to get both. Now, if you already have Batman and Robin, you might want to find the Batgirl, which will run you about maybe $35, $30 on eBay or something like that. You can find her by herself with that Toys R Us exclusive. To be honest, I've seen the Toys R Us exclusive in Toys R Us the last few weeks, and it runs about $19. So if you can find it, it's rare, but if you can find it, grab one for $19. Bucks. This whole set will run you about $35, and it's a good purchase for anybody who doesn't have a Robin and, it, and for the exclusive Batgirl. On the back, you see a nice shot of Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. There's a nice animated pose of... Batgirl smiling as she pulls up alongside Batman and Robin as they go on an adventure. And you see the, I, once again, you see the figures that were already released in that line. The Catwoman, shirts up Batman, Penguin, Riddler, Joker, and regular Batman. And Robin never came out to this day by himself. 
Robin has not been released by himself. So one way or another, unless you buy him on eBay open and loose, you won't find a Robin figure yet by himself. You have to find him in two pack or in this three pack. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see. And you know what? When I come back, we're going to take a look at some other last two items. But these are great items. All right, now we're getting great. Look at this size here. This is the NECA 1 4th scale 66 Robin action figure. This is pretty cool. If you guys look below on, on my list of uh, episodes that I have at Get the Monkey TV, you'll see we do the, did a review for the Batman Adam West version of the 1966 uh, television series. This is the company piece right here. This is the Robin from the 1966 television show. We'll take a quick look at the box. On the back, we see the actual figure in some nice poses from NECA. I love it. We see a nice animated picture of the Batmobile on the bottom. We see the bump, bam, kapow, pow. Nice. And the bat signal. Really nice de de depictions of Robin. And we see the accessories that Robin come with, which we'll check out in a minute. And here we see Batman and Robin climbing the wall with a silhouette of Gotham in the background. Batman Classic Series in the back. And if we open the box, we see inside the box, in the back, there's an artist's work of the Batcave. A nice uh, cartoon drawing of the Batcave in the back. And here we see Robin. Let's open this puppy up and see what he looks like. We take a closer look on the inlay of this box. Again, we see that Batcave drawing. A lot of artwork of the Batcave. So cool. It's kind of comical and, and, and comic booky, But it's so nice that they did that because it's kind of a nice look. And you see the, the reactor in the side here, too. The ladder. All the stuff that you saw and came to know on that Batman television series, they have a little bit of it in this side, just in there, the box. That's a nice little touch that NECA decided to do in here. I love it. Now let's look at some of the accessories Robin came with. This Robin figure came with even more accessories than the Batman figure came a few months before him. This uh, Robin comes with two, four, six hands. So three sets of hands, very nice. They come with the standardized fists that are on him already. I took them off so you guys can see them. Look at the detail on these hands. Nice sculpting. NECA is truly doing such a great job with their one-fourth scale 18-inch figures. It is truly wonderful. Look at that. Truly, truly wonderful. And you see, you even see the stitching through the gloves right here. I love that. See the stitching right through the runs through the gloves, just like a real pair of gloves. These are plastic, they're not fabric at all, but they really look to have a fabric quality to them. Very nice. Here you see a relaxed hand, the better detail inside of that glove. Look at that, you can see the, thing, the fingernails through the gloves. That is really great. NECA, you've done a great job. This is a hand-holding hand. -holding hand. It's a, it's a, uh, it holds probably the Batarang in that. Very nice. another relaxed palm hand. Once again, look at that stitching. Very nice. And a finger pointing. <laughs> Very nice. You're going down, Catwoman! I love it. Very nice. And this comes with bat cuffs. Can you believe it? A working pair of bat cuffs. They open and they lock like that. Open and they lock. That is really cool. A nice little plastic-like chain. It looks like it's metal, but it's kind of plasticky. Very nice. That is so cool. That did not come with the Batman. Come with a bat, batarang, with the rope on it. That did come with Batman, but this comes with Robin also. It comes with a breather oxygen mask. That is great. Batman didn't get one of those either. Very nice. Look at that. The detail and workings of all that. That sticks right on his mouth like that, right conforms with his mouth and nose. Very nice this is. And last but not least we get an antenna raising bat walkie. And the Batman figure came with one of these as well. But that is so great. Look at that. And the antennas extend up and down. I don't think even the Hot Toys antenna extended up and down. Nice little detail in the back of the screws. 
very 1960s with the big clock looking screws in the back. Now let's take a quick look at the uh, articulation on this figure. Robin has a nice bit of rotation on his head. His head goes 360 all the way around. Watch for paint scraping if you use it a lot with the turning. Oh, his head pops off. Look at that. I popped Robin's noggin. Here we go. Got it back on. There we are. His head goes down about this much, up about that much. Got a nice raised up head like that. Cape is affixed to his neck. Collar, two separate pieces. The, this top part is plastic hard plastic but it looks like fabric and then the fabric comes right underneath that but it's affixed so you can you can't turn it and rotate it up here but you can put the cape in back of him like that or put it in front of him like that the cape is malleable like that there's no wire running through the cape whatsoever but it's a nice thick satiny fabric it's, it feels like it's two ply so it's nice thick and there's two sides to it so very nice I get uh, shoulder rotation about that much Robin goes on about that high on his shoulders can rotate his arm from the top of his arm fully around like that. Shoulders also go separately around like that. Full rotation. You get a bend in Robin's arm which is about that much. Goes down about that much just straight. The gauntlets do not swivel. Oh yes they do, I'm sorry. The gauntlets do swivel. So you can get a nice swivel on that, and the wrists have full rotation. If you move them too much, because of the hard plastic of, the, of his gauntlets, they're going to pop the hand off at the wrist and just snap it back in. The hands are very easy to be replaced and pop in and pop out. Same with the right and the left. You get nice, thick, moving joints, so it's very stiff on them. Robin has race rotation underneath his suit, has the rotation. So there's no cut up here in the waist. This is all one rubbery covering and his rotation is actually underneath his belt down here underneath this costume you rotate about that much but he snaps back you see that but you can fully if you press it rotate him around like that comes back around thigh rotation goes up about that high but you get a big gap in there like that it restricted also by the rubber which is kind of bendable and malleable but restricted by that comes back down nice Deception how they covered that this bend in the knee with the actual knee sculpt very nice So there's no joint showing on that but because of that thickness right there the knee only goes up about that much Yeah, that's really good because Robin as a nice young guy did a lot of athletic moves and jumps around So you can get nice that nice deep split and nice movement in his body, which is very good NECA did a great job on this guy there is very little rotation in the foot, but the calf turns fully like that. So you can get you can get nice poses, but because of the the boot, you don't get a lot of movement in the ankle. It's kind of solid there. But all in all, you get some you can get some nice poses on this Robin. Very nice. You also get a little bit of head slant swivel. Not much because it's hard plastic against hard plastic. Very nice. Let's take a look overall this figure. This Robin looks fantastic. I love the cape. Is this an accurate, super accurate depiction of Burt Ward? No. Not as great as NECA's version of Adam West on the same era Batman. That was a truly master, masterful sculpt. It looked like Adam West. This doesn't look 100% like Burt Ward, but it looks so close to Burt Ward that you won't know the difference, really. It just really, really looks nice. I love it. It looks like there's a person under that mask. It's one whole sculpt. The mask is not removable. doesn't move around or come off, but it looks really great. I love the fabric they used on this cape. I love the version of the golden yellow they used on that. The R on the side, the stitching looks great. That holds this costume together. It looks almost like real stitches in there like that of material. I love how they did that. This is a great, great depiction. I love how they actually made this look like tights instead of just bare legs. Years ago, many years ago, DC Direct did a Robin, 13-inch classic Robin, and they made it look like his actual bare legs instead of he had tights on, which in the television show he had tights on over his legs. And this looks like tights over his legs. I love that. Uh, the little bunching up on the kneecaps is fantastic. The boot sculpting is fantastic. You see all the little movements of the boot. Very great. I'm going to put his head on a little better right there because my, my Robin's head fell off a little bit a while ago. 
as we turn around. Now, NECA doesn't come with stands, as we all know. I wish they did, but you can buy those toner doll stands from Toner Company. You can buy them in bulk, and they work well with a NECA figure because they're toner dolls, and T-O-N-N-E-R, toner dolls figures, uh, are about the same scale as a NECA 18-inch, 1-4 scale figure. If you can buy those in bulk from Toner Company, they'll work perfectly well with your uh, NECA figures. So, very good. I love this Robin. The belt, everything is nice. This is truly a great depiction. And I don't have my classic 66 Batman NECA figure to show you, but if I did, Batman would stand about here and Robin stands about there. So this isn't a truly 18-inch figure like the Batman is. They made it in scale. So he's actually a little shorter than Batman. Comes up to around Batman's uh, shoulder. And very nice. So that's a good thing that they did at a NECA. NECA is hitting it out of the park with their one-fourth scale figures. I'm so glad I picked this up. This guy runs you on retail. He's not that easy to find anymore, but he runs you in retail about a hundred bucks. I brought mine from Frank and Sons uh, Collectible Warehouse in uh, Southern California. And I got him for seventy dollars out the door with no tax or anything. Frank and Sons is a great store to shop at. Uh, it's, it's in Pomona, California. It takes a little while to get there. City of Industry, I think, may be more correctly where it is. Look it up on the website, Frank and & Sons, and you'll find they have some great stuff there if you're in the Southern California area. And they usually don't charge sale tax or anything, so you can get some good figures and good accessories for your figures at Frank & Sons. Uh, very nice. I love it. I love it. I love this figure. So now let's take a look at the last thing I got from my 1966 collection as I complete the collection. Last but not least, we have these great specialized figures from a company called Hero Cross. Now, a lot of people know Hero Cross because they made some metal-like little figures of uh, class of, of the Batman, a uh, Dark Knight figure. They made a, a Superman basic metal little figure, and a, they have a Flash, and they they really are uh, coming out with some nice things. They're little caricature figures. They're expensive, to, but they're really cool, and they're one of the things that help make your collection pop. So let's go inside and see what we'll go. Let's start with Batman. And we'll go right into Robin once you get to see the Batman. I'm going to open this up. Pull this out. We see the box is very nice. See a nice little Batman hard metal figuration and a number 012. And the back is the bat signal over a silhouetted Gotham. Nice little box. And the top of the box has like bats on top of it. Very cool. And here we are. Here's our figure. I'm going to take it out this plastic. These figures are small. They stand about maybe <laughs> they stand about maybe five inches, but they are just the coolest figures in the world. And they light up. This is Batman. Say hello, Batman. This is Batman, the Adam West 1966 version. Now, this isn't made to look like Adam West, but it is made to be an homage to that 1966 version of Batman. It's just really great. These guys are metal. They're actually metal bodies, some plastic elements, like the head is plastic, fabric, cape, so it's mixed media. Very, very nice, and they're articulated. These guys are just really something awesome. Now, little figures like this make your collection pop. Because how many people do you know have this? Some of you guys are watching this for the first time, didn't even know they have a figure like this available. Look at the belt. Nice bat symbol on the belt. We got the 66 emblem. We got the, uh, the eye light, eyebrows over the eyes, just like the 66 Batman. Batman and Robin come with some nice accessories. I'm going to share them with you together for a time. I'm going to show you what both of these come with. Batman comes with a hard cape as well as a soft cape that comes standard on him. He comes with a hard plastic cape in case you want to just pose him straight down with that hard cape. That's really nice. He comes with about two, four, six, eight pairs of hands. Eight, eight hands. Uh, four sets of hands. Very nice. Different versions of them. Relaxed palm. I don't know if you can pick that up. A nice fist. Uh, a holding hand. Another holding hand, but a little more relaxed. A holding hand, a little more tighter grip. And a nice relaxed opposite hand, left hand. Very nice. And a batarang. With a little hole so you can thread it. 
for a little rope for nice, very nice. Batarang is not articulated. It's kind of rubbery, hard plastic. It's not that soft, but you can ma it's malleable. It also comes with this neat bat signal stand right here like this, and it lights up. You put a, two AA batteries in on the bottom, and it lights up. I didn't do that because I just opened this box for time's sake, but it lights and illuminates. It looks beautiful, I'm sure. Comes with a nice stand that goes right on the back, opens in here, you put them around the waist, and it supports him right in there like that. Robin also comes with a fabric cape that comes standard on him, but he comes with this nice layered hard rubber cape, which is really nice. It looks like the cape from the 60s TV show, doesn't it? Very nice. Comes with an assortment of hands. Robin only comes with uh, two, four, six sets of hands. The two that are on him and the, uh, these uh, four that are here. Relaxed hand, a fist, two fists, one fist is already on him, standard, a holding hand, nice detail on those gloves, and a relaxed palm. Robin also comes with an illuminated stage where you put the AA batteries in, it illuminates the R, and once again, he also comes with one of those stands that you wrap around the waist, plugs in right here, and able to hold Robin. They both come with booklets to tell you how you can light, what the accessories are, how you can light the heads. The heads light up, as we'll show you in a minute. Nice picture of Batman and Robin dynamic duo together. The other things that, these are the other things that hybrid metal figures that Hero Cross offers. They offer the, the, the Disney line, which is Mickey Mouse. There's that Batman I told you about earlier. There's Superman we discussed. There's um, Nightmare, Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. Star Wars. Donald Duck. Again with Disney, Iron Man, Darth Vader, Pinocchio, and they have a nice little Optimus Prime. Lights up with the eyes, nice. These figures are about five inches tall, and the metal and plastic elements on them. They usually come with uh, accessories and hands and light up features, all of them, from here across. And the same with Robin. Shows you how to take Robin, shows you what he comes with, how to light the head up, take the top of the head up to light the eyes. Nice picture of Batman and Robin together. And again, what's featured. Nice, nice pamphlets. Let me show you the actual figures. I took the liberty of lighting Batman's eyes, which is no small task. You have to really go inside his head and do all kinds of stuff to light his eyes up to get him to work well. So I, let, I took and lit him. Here's a touch for this little thing. They give you a lot of nice detail. They really do. This is a 1966 Batman and Robin. Really look great together. These guys really look nice together. They're caricatures, almost like the Funko and the Mezits. They are characters, but you know what? Because they're unique and you don't find these very much, they make your collection pop. And my 1966 collection will pop because I know a lot of people might have the Mattel things, but then as they go, as they peruse my collection, they'll say, wow, I've never seen these before. And these are very nice, and that's what you want. You want that awe, shock and awe factor of your collection when people look at it. The capes also have... Well, Batman's cape has a little bit of wire running through it. Isn't that cool? Even some of the 1-6 scale capes forget to put wire in Batman's cape. This has a nice little wire running through the outside of his cape. Robin doesn't have wire in his cape. They look very great. Do you get those eyes? Look at that. The dynamic duo. Now, what I've decided to do is I took... I brought an extra little Batmobile from, from um, Funko... Batmobile, and I'm using this as the diorama for the Batman and Robin. So my Batman and Robin will come and stand like that in the Batmobile. Something like that. And it'll have more of a pose to it, but just for time's sake, I'm just showing you what it'll look like. Something like that as we do that. See how that is? And since they're deformed-ish anyway, this deformed Batmobile kicks it right off. But have no fear. Those of you that want a Batmobile just really fit to scale for these guys, uh, Hero Cross is in the works now to make a Batmobile to go with these figures. I don't know how much it will run. These figures are kind of expensive. They run you online. You might find them at about $90 each. Sideshow used to sell Hero Cross and they ran at Sideshow $150 each figure. 
Sideshow stopped before they got to this point, but a few years ago, Sideshow had the Batman, the black and gray Batman, for $150. You might find these guys online for about $90 to $100 each, and that's not without shipping and handling. I bought these guys for $80 each, no tax, out the door, from my good friend Tony Maid, a costume designer extraordinaire Tony Maid, at Frankenson's, that's his booth at Frankenson's in Southern California. So I got a good deal on these guys, and these guys just make my collection pop. They're a fun thing to have. I hope you guys like them. And while we're at it, I just want to show you guys the size comparisons for these Hero Cross metal figures. This is a 6 inch Mattel Batman and these are the Hero Cross figures. So the Hero Cross figures go in at about maybe five, four to four and a half to five inches where these figures are about six inches. So just so you get a size comparison of the two. These figures are really great. I enjoy these figures so much. They're special, and like I said earlier, they make your figures pop. You guys, thank you for joining me today as we took a look at my final bit of collection on the 1966 Batman television series collectibles and action figures that I've decided to get. No more. You will see no more reviews of any more Batman 66 stuff from me. Unless, of course, Hot Toys releases that Batmobile, then we'll sell, have a celebration, and we will review that. But other than that... This is it. I thank you guys for joining me on this. And right down below, let me know what did you guys get from the 1960 Batman television series wave that we've been experiencing for the last four years or so. It's about ready to run its course right now. But uh, let me know what you guys got. And if you like the show, click down below and like it and let me know. And comment below. Tell me, because you know I love getting back with you guys. And look, at, look us up on Pinterest and on Facebook. We have some great things and photographs on Pinterest and Facebook that you won't find on the television channel. So I thank you guys for joining us as we took a look at the 1966 Batman collectible things today. I hope you had a good time with them. And remember, collecting toys, even a 1966 Batman that television show extravaganza, a plethora of collectibles and action figures, it can be as fun as a barrel of monkeys. But respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys.